Welcome to all about rabbits. If you are here to figure out how to get rid of ear mites, then skip to the end of this program. Hello, welcome to All About Rabbits. And me, your author, is Bradley Taylor. I am the boy holding my baby rabbit in the right hand picture. As you can see, there is already a, another voice recording. So that's going to get you started of what you're going to learn. Now, this is going to be all about baby bunnies and adult bunnies. So if you would like to continue and want to know what this book is about, hit my other voice recording. Hello, today, if you read my book, you will be learning about rabbits and what they eat and what their predators are. What's a rabbit and what can it eat? A rabbit is a mammal, but it is also a lagomorph. A lagomorph is an animal that has eyes on the side of its head. A example is a ferret or a guinea pig. Many rabbits love carrots. They can eat carrots, potato, apples as long as they don't have seeds in them. I'm preferring if you made apple slices so you can take the seeds out. Lettuce flowers that don't have big seeds in them. Grass and also chickweed. They enjoy the chew on wood, also bricks. Because their teeth never stop growing. If they get too long, they cannot eat. They might starve, and that is very sad. Make sure that they always have water. Ear mites. This next part might be a little sad, but it is going to be all from research that I've been doing. So, please, if you get sad, then I'm sorry, but this is my research I've been doing on ear mites. Up on your right hand side is a picture of a rabbit with ear mites. It is tilting its head sideways trying to get them out. And ear mites you cannot see um, at all. So you're going to have to take it to a doctor to figure out what's happening. They're always moving. A fur coat doesn't help. Make sure it doesn't eat seeds. It's dangerous and can hurt rabbits. If you have a rabbit make sure to check her ears for ear mites. If they have a ear mites the symptoms are if you notice a rabbit scratching or shaking its head recently. Other symptoms are redness heat and swelling in the ear canal. Itching and scratching damages the ear skin. The longer it lasts the more it inflammations. The inflammations make a serum and white blood cells to ooze onto the skin surface. Trapping in the mites feces and skin cells and then drying out. This produces a crusting scabbing and thick scale or gray. Flaky skin debris attached inside the ear flap. Underneath the crust the skin is moist hairless and raw. The crust and scabbing can spread to the head and neck and other part of the body. Predators Some people eat rabbit. And people hunt rabbits all the time. In Great Britain a virus came in that killed 95% of their rabbits. Hello, in this chapter you'll be learning about the rabbit's predators, as you can see in the picture on your right hand side. You can see the fox and the rabbit. I swear the rabbit will be okay. And if you continue reading, you will figure out what the predators of a rabbit are. Rabbits have many predators and all they can do is bite. That's where the legs come in. They have a special kind of legs that can launch them off the ground two feet in the air. Here's a list of a rabbit's predators. 
a fox wolf coyote pet dogs or cats hawks owls falcons kestrels and sparrows all birds weasels ferrets badgers stoats snakes all rabbits need for supervision if you don't have the time put your rabbits up if they are outside you must have a hutch if a predator is outside the hutch the rabbits could die from shock or they can get so scared to have a heart attack. Foxes and raccoons can open hatch doors raccoons can climb trees too. How to treat ear mites best way to treat your mites is to take your rabbit to a doctor if you have read the chapter about your mites you'll see the symptoms if you see these symptoms then do not scratch the debris off it will cause your rabbit harm and bleeding let it heal on its own dot but if you do not feel safe about this information then take it to the doctor or your local vet about your author Bradley has many pets including two dogs one cat and three rabbits he enjoys doing math reading science and history he loves to hang out with his zoom friends including dr ward dr fry and dr d hart his favorite color is blue he loves superheroes and pokemon and harry potter slash reading he also loves all of his pets and family